Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody's trying to produce this, which is pretty cool. They've actually got a contour outline around the holes. Um, never thought about doing that, and I, I've already done it. Um, it's pretty precise and pretty cool, so we're just going to do it again. And pretty easy. This is all one piece. Uh, for the one I'm doing it for, yours wasn't one piece. So you take the Smart Fill tool and fill it in and then move that out of the way and left click, right click, and you've got one piece. So we've got it here. Now, I don't know what size hole, but I'm not doing it for them. I'm just going to show you how to do it. I'm going to draw a hole about that big, holding another control button so it'll be perfect. And I'm going to put it like right on that corner. And then I just picked a number 0.75 and I nudged it over and down. Okay, you can adjust that. I hit the plus key on the keyboard. I'm going to hit the down arrow key and the left arrow key. Now you could probably copy both of them, but uh, this is just as easy. Up arrow key, right arrow key. I'm not on this, I'm not perfect. Up arrow key, left arrow key. Now, how do we make that box? Your rectangle tool will go from the center to the center to the center. Take that box and while you're in this mode, go right here to the scallop corner and just start raising your numbers, your ratio is locked, so it's going to do all of them at the same time and just get to where you think it looks good around there. Easy enough. Now, we are going to make a duplicate of this. And I'm going to change my nudge factor to 14 inches. Fit, let's make it 15 inches. Let's make a duplicate and nudge that out of the way. Let's get rid of all this inner stuff. And let's take this shape and go up to effects, contour. We're going to contour to the inside 0.75. We can almost kind of measure maybe because um, we were working from the center. So we got 0.75 of an edge. So we kind of want the contour to be 0.75 up top. So we're going to grab this and make it 0.75. And now you have that other shape. But we don't need that all that shape. So we're going to take the, well, first of all, you've got to select it all and break the contour apart. Then select this one and select these two nodes and then right click and break apart. Then we can take all this and delete it. Now we can take away this and I'm not going to delete it, I'm just going to nudge it over. Our nudge factor is still set on 15. I'm going to get rid of that mark and I'm going to nudge that over. All you have to do, as long as these lines are touching, is get rid of that. Now, this is a little bit of a, not a perfect, whoop, perfect curve. Um, you know, as we, it's trying to contour around there. Uh, visually, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I think once you make this into a, so what we need to do is use the Smart Fill tool. I've just got it set on yellow. You don't have to use yellow. Left click, right click. Then we can get rid of this line. You can just select them both. And then move this over. And then change your thickness to whatever thickness you think looks good for the engraving. It looks a little bit funny right in here. You know, we could try to, you know, maybe delete some nodes. Give it a little, you know, I don't, that looks really, that looks pretty good. Uh, it contour, you know, it's a little bit thicker than here, than here. You could set your nudge factor on like 0 0.001. Take your shape tool and grab the center of that line and then just nudge it down a little bit. Ever so slightly. And make it contour around there a little bit. Because we're working with a corner, 
and it's having to work. I actually like the way it was better there. But then just put your engraving in there. I'll, I like the idea of the holes. And then if you are going to cut these out, just make sure they're hairlines, which they're not. So what you could do is just select, hold down the shift key and select all four of those. And then hit hairline. And I would make them red for a cut line. Anyway, I'm hoping that's what she was, they were asking. And thank you for watching.